Sort of got it. Sort of got it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Zach Reacts. How are y'all doing today? Hope you hope you like that little little bit. So, in front of me, I got Has Been Hotel Season One, Episode Seven. What was it again? Hello, Rosie. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Rosie. So, in the last episode, uh, we. Charlie and Vaggie went to heaven, and we just found out heaven is a whole ass lie. It is a whole ass lie. Besides the fact that most of heaven doesn't know that Adam and Loot and Seraphim are basically sanctioning genocide, nobody in heaven actually can really tell what it actually takes to get into heaven. Like, I don't think any of them actually know what got them there. It's like they all just passed a vibe check and got, got in. It's like a, like a club. Also, happy Black History Month. Yay. Hey, this is actually an old project I made as a tribute to black superheroes. <laughs> Heroes, hence black power. But also, uh, we got to see uh, we got to see the introduction of Cherry Bomb, um, Angel's best friend, and she is she's a party girl, and I I, I described her as a canker sister. <laughs> Sister, but you know, less less of a creep because the canker sisters are creeps, all right. And I think she might end up joining the hotel eventually. Like, I mean, right now she's right now she's just like, no, I'm good. I don't, I don't need that. I'm good. But you do you, honey. That's all good. Also, we got to see Angel stand up to Valentino, even though we said he would get him back. Which I'm still gonna crush that little motherfucking bug under my fucking under, in between my fucking hands. I'm gonna grind his ass up and then drop his ass inside of a fucking blender, and then I'm gonna pour that shit uh, pour that shit outside and then light it on fucking fire <sighs> that was very very descriptive anyway but it really showed a lot of the progress that angel dust actually has made and him being in big brother mode also i know some people uh some people actually are watching other reactions like i saw some people pointing out like his sister is in heaven one i didn't know he had a sister but two she's in heaven weren't they both in the mob so so what exactly again 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 the thing about a vibe check like that's what it just feels like what the heck but yeah so but yeah that was all, but also while in heaven, like, Charlie, she just went off because she she just sees how BS this whole system is, how rigged it really, truly is, is, and Emily, Emily, the heaven version of Charlie, it also sees this, it, and I like at the end how she says this line about, like, how can she, how can she, like, be happy and bring other people happiness when, when she now knows they're bringing bringing misery and death to thousands millions of people like it's it's a thing of like if you see if you know that a conflict is happening and you are in the place that is contributing to the conflict happening over there like how can you really just ignore that at that point I mean, like emily has a good heart that's why she's in that's why i feel like she's in heaven but it also shows like not only but it also shows like good hearts aren't aren't only in heaven because again she's basically the heaven version of charlie but also vaggy was with them and we got our confirmation yeah vaggy is a vaggy is a fallen angel they cut out her eye and cut off her wings and like bruh <laughs> like seriously he and she apparently never told charlie about this which I, c I can kind of understand why i can kind of understand why but at the same time like oh i don't know Look, that's something extremely personal, and and I feel like Vaggy just wouldn't want wouldn't want Charlie to look at her look at her differently after this, especially with the look that look that she gave her when Adam basically revealed like she was one of them at one point, and it's like <sighs> I'm sure they'll get through it, but like they're gonna have to really work through it. This feels like a real test of like a real test of of. Charlie's principles, in my opinion. Like, I think they'll, I think they'll get through it. I know they'll get through it, but at the same time, yeah. I also need to uh, hold up. I need to hold on real quick. I need to fix something. Also, I hit four thousand subscribers recently. Thank you all. I know, I know a lot of y'all are new here. Hi, hi. I'm Zach. I like to react to cartoons. My favorite of which being Craig of the Creek. I highly recommend you check it out. This is, this is the, this is the penultimate episode. Everything feels like it's really just like breaking and falling apart and it's just like <sighs> and like and like i know it's the next two episodes and i i also saw like last night last night like real late last night i i saw i saw this post from morgan terry where they were posting their reaction to something and they didn't sh they didn't show what what exactly it was but by the look on their face, I'm scared now. So, oh god. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. Someone's gonna die. Oh man. But 
we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Here we go. I still learn how to play that. I still learn how to play that. So like, oh. Where are your wings? You ever think maybe she's sensitive about her lack of wings? Just like her lack of tits? Yeah, where are you? Wow. Tits? What? Y'all are so mean. Questions. Jesus. I, how come every time Charlie talks to Heaven, we get in deeper and deeper shit? Because Heaven's bullshit. Just, I mean. fearless leader anyway. She's upstairs. Coming up with something, I'm sure. Um. No. Ow, what the fuck? Oh. Alistair, you are not fucking helping, you asshole. How can I face them after feeling them all so hard? They came here to be saved, and all I gave them was more pain. I'm just as bad as the cruelest overlord in No, the fuck you're not. No, 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 no. Mm, no, 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 Charlie, no. Don't, no, no. Don't don't pull a loose no settle right now. No, you are not as bad as Bellos. You are not as bad as the worst overlord in hell. You actually give a damn. Talking about giving false hope. No, they have actual hope because you brought it to them. Hope is never false. All right. Stand there smiling while you watch us struggle and fail. I don't know how you can enjoy all the suffering so much. I mean, I got a pretty good clue. Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. It ain't like you're sharing. Smile is a valuable tool, my dear. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, and ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. But I'm not. The person I trust most has been lying to me for years. Heaven refuses to listen. Even if they did, I can't prove the whole time works. I know something you don't know. Ow. Oh no, you were about to... ...are not quite as indestructible as they seem. You and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you... Oh, Stop oh, speaking in riddles and just bad. be straight up. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. All I need from you is one itty-bitty favor. Pay Fuck you won't, then. We have a deal. Oh, I don't do it, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. What did you do? Baggy, stop! She gave me info that can save the hotel. We're going to need help, and Carmilla is the key. What? Carmilla Carmine? Yep. Carson, she knows how they can be harmed. But I didn't even know that was possible. If you did... Would you have told me? D Char, come on now. We have a deal. <sighs> deal. No, no. I'll go to her. Convince her to teach us. If she can, we might have a chance. With just the seven of us. You're gonna need a lot of help. Just who can help? You're with us? Of course she's with you, but <laughs> still. Alistair and Charlie just left like they were running away from their responsibilities. Should we be along? No. Mm, no. Includes defending ourselves Hopefully. against the angels. Yeah, that knife lady, Camaro car fight. <laughs> Camaro, Cam Camaro car, Camaro car fight. How was that doubly wrong? What the hell? <laughs> Oh man, that's I don't that should not be as funny as it is. Jesus. I told boss about it months ago. He what? What? They say insane shit all the time. I mean, that's fair. That's also very fair. Created by the shadow government. It's important now is that we're about to become a dangerous place in hell and we I can't guarantee your safety. I'm going to go home and fight back. But when I come home, well, I'll understand if none of you are here. Years I've been sharing my Cannibal Town. And I tell her everything. And she keeps I mean, something like this from me. Why would she lie for me? I mean, okay, like what? Okay, like I get where Charlie's coming from here, but again, extremely personal. Didn't want you to probably look at her the way you do now. Hey, like I, I understand where Charlie's coming from, coming from, but like I don't know. I never really believe in the idea of sin of omission because like. Half the time, most people aren't always telling you everything about them. That's just true. Some people want to keep to themselves or feel they need to keep to themselves because they're not ready to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. I mean, yes, Charlie's fine with oversharing. Not everybody else is. Is People are different. Also, what the fuck is going on? Why would she lie for so long? Does she think I wouldn't accept her? What about me? Me said is this, a, this is Cannibal Town. And all of these people have extremely sharp teeth. There's a friend of mine I think you should meet. In Cannibal Town? But it's... it's... Surprisingly nice here. It no, looks it's like a, a 1920s well, who town. Thought about eating their first husband? I uh, certainly would have. Whoa, whoa, what? So oh, <laughs> you! I remember you. Do my eyes deceive me? 
Okay, so y'all are good old friends. Aww. I'm pretty sure she's a lot older than he is, but... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, what? <laughs> wait a minute, what? <laughs> An ace in the hole. <laughs> that was pretty good. Charlie, this is Rosie. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Princess Charlie Morningstar. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, well, isn't this a regal surprise? I'm sure I have a leg around here. Something. Uh, never. No thanks. How about some nice pinky Uh, rude. Oh my God! No, thank you. No, thanks for the finger food. Tell Auntie Rosie what she can do for you. Well, as you know. Yes. Wow. Yeah. 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 Do you, but I assume there's more to this plan than a bunch of unarmed cannibals. By the end, they will be able to eat I mean, ain't I mean, ain't just probably tastes pretty good for cannibals at least. Carmine, I know what you did on extermination day. Talk about it inside, or I can yell about it out here. Uh oh. Right, you open that door. Hello. You have two minutes. Oh! Here on appointment from the princess to enlist your aid in defense of hell from the angelic extermination. No. Seriously. What do you mean, no? G girl! You have to do better than that. 90 seconds. It's if you're not coming you for everyone right now. Clearly, I am not the helpless one here. 80 seconds. Why wouldn't you use what you know to fight to avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now? You oh, say this like you have a choice. To help her people who newsflash include your people too. And how exactly has that worked out for her? You didn't see the look on their leader's face. With us out of the way, it's only a matter of time before they come for the rest of you. And... They won't stop until all of hell is wiped out, so you can help us make a stand here together. Or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? <gasps> oh shit! Whoa! Whoa! Quickly, viciously, and without mercy, you'll need to defend better than that. What in the? What is this karate kid? Jesus! Oh! I can't exactly command all of Cannibal Town to follow someone else into battle. No, don't get me wrong. They love carnage and bloodshed, but to get this group into line, you gotta win them over. I mean, oh, okay. But how do I with sparkle, razzmatazz? The razzmatazz. Oh, so appealing. It's not like you've ever failed to inspire before. Mm. Th th now, thanks, Alistair. Thanks, Alistair. This group sticks together. So in order to convince any of them, and there's one in Ooh. particular. Uh, Susan. Susan. <laughs> who's a bit Susan. of a... Uh, Ordinary old bitch. That. Tough. Oh, uh, man. Please put your bloody hands together for Princess Charlie. Whoa! Hey! Bring Rosie back. Susan. I'm guessing that's Susan. Susan. Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah. Great, 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 great. This is going to be fantastic. Uh, Charlie. Whoa. Well, I have this hotel with my partner. With a showmanship, my little mystery. Fuck you, you old bitch! Dang! No, no, I don't blame Charlie. Oh shit! Oh god! Yo, Carmilla! She's like fucking Shun Lee right now. Jesus! Yeah, I don't think Char. I don't think that. You have a giant X over your eye. A real <laughs> spear. It's not rockets. Did you know angels could be harmed? That shows in how you fight. Yes. You fight like someone unafraid of harm. And this little armor and fight with reckless abandon. That's true. Oh, that makes perfect. Ow. What? Some secret weapon of yours? Stupid girl, are you really so dense you don't realize you're holding the answer? Angelic weapons? That's it. Angelic steel isn't common. To well, yeah, true. Exact, but my daughters and I were cornered Ooh. in that last extermination. You don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. Fatality. Oh, damn! No wonder those ballet slippers of hers are so damn sharp. Yep, you know, I'm real mad that I couldn't upload that episode 3 because the audio got chopped to hell because Carmilla, I'd argue, probably has the best voice in this show. <laughs> Whoa! She still has her wings! <laughs> My specialty, come on, uh -oh. dearie, come on, uh -oh. dearie. Details. My girlfriend is an exorcist angel, and she never told me. Oh, shit. I'm just angry because we share everything. And she always supported me. And what I did, and, and, and now, I don't know whether or not that was 
swear to God. <laughs> you said you love this girl. Yes. Have you ever once doubted that she loves you in return? Well, then what's the problem? She took part in the very thing we've been working so hard to end. Wow. I mean, Isn't that true. silly hotel of yours all about redemption? She knows better than anyone that I believe in second chances. Why not tell me? It can be difficult to admit to things you're not proud of. Exactly. Especially if those things hurt the ones you love. She's flawed. But hey, who down here isn't? Exactly. Is Words, cheat, and actions. works it will work here have you ever wanted something that was so clear in your mind that you could taste it you mean mm -hmm. like human flesh uh, sure you form life changing friendships with the folks along the way Yay. based on all the angels you can eat <laughs> <laughs> of course that's all it took free food <laughs> she's she's captain she's captain hell that's what she's is. she's the captain of hell No. Don't be put off by this snarling Matt's enthusiasm, darling. You, you're worrying about the wrong shit right now. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, they have actual hands. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Serpentis, everybody been they boarding up the windows? You're still here. What? Do you think we're a bunch of I ain't finding no new drinking buddies. That's fair, that's fair. Well, looks like Okay. Yeah! Oh my Yay! Yeah! Okay, that was that was fantastic. That was fan. Fan fucking tastic! Oh man, oh man, I'm ah. Oh. See that I needed, I needed that. Ow, I just hit my head. I needed that. Oh man, yes. Oh, we are about to take the fight to heaven. Yes, man. I need, I needed this after after last episode because that shit, that shit had me stressed, bruh. Oh my god, bruh, you have no idea. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of you have have a pretty good idea. And now we're back. Man, let's take this from the beginning. Hitting again. Let's open up in the foyer area and everyone's, well, asking, asking uh, Baggy a bunch of questions about her being a former angel exorcist. Unfortunately, they're all very well under the impression that um they're kind of screwed, which low-key they kind of are, but <laughs> you also have Charlie, who's up here in her room, crying her eyes out, but Alistair wants to come up here and try and ask, try and, like, convince her to go down there because she has a captive audience that's just waiting to waiting for some speech but like she's going through a lot of emotions right now the person she's been telling everything to for years years didn't tell her this like personal i don't consider that of central omission especially when they don't want you to look at you the way that they are now like just like I said earlier this hotel this whole show in general is about redemption about being coming a better version of yourself and very clearly, Vaggy is very, very, very ashamed of her past. And when you're ashamed of your past, you will do anything to try and rectify that. Try and do anything you can to put some good in the world to world to make up for the bad that you like. Will it all will you always be able to will you always be able to balance those scales? I don't know, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. And Actions speak louder than words. Baggy's been here the whole time. Even I'm even with everybody here being difficult, she's still been here. But Alistair, Alistair's ass up here, he convinces Charlie to make a deal with him. In exchange for the information about Carmilla Carmine being the one who managed to kill an angel. But now I'm really wondering what the hell this favor exactly is for Alistair. Because, like, look, I know the th I've heard a lot about the theory about, like, Lilith being the one who's got, well, Alistair on a leash. Is, is the deal going to be that she joins Lilith in whatever her plan is? Like, I don't know. Is it, is it to, I don't know. Is it to, is it to fuck up heaven? Is it to... In? Is it to kill God? 
I mean, I mean, low key, y'all. I kind of have a theory. I've, I've kind of got a theory about God. God. Long story short, I think he might be dead. And if he ain't dead, then somebody's gonna try and kill him. I don't know how. I don't know how. But I mean, I, I don't really see any other way that Adam and Seraphim were able to just keep this from everybody in heaven. I'm just saying. So now uh, they make their way here to Hannibal Town, where they are introduced to Rosie. Why am I having deja vu? Anyway, they're introduced to Rosie, hey, who is the overlord of Cannibal Town, and apparently she helps a lot of people out with things. But, but yeah, so she and Alistair apparently go way back, apparently. And also she makes this joke calling her, calling him an ace and hole. Whole and <laughs> that was a that was a, actually that was a pretty good as, a, asexual joke that I'm not gonna lie that was pretty good. <laughs> so Charlie basically spills the beans about how um, heaven is come heaven is coming in less in less than a month, and they really need their help. And she's trying to enlist Cannibal Town to help them out, and she's willing to do it, but she's got to get everybody here on her side. Luckily, they all love a good song and dance, but there's also one woman who might make that extremely difficult. Susan. You, you always gotta love an old, uh, you gotta love seeing a cranky old woman who just does the most, Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, Vaggy is over here with Carmilla Carmine, and she's basically trying to learn, well, she's trying to get her, to try to enlist her in to fight the, fight the angels, but Carmilla, she's like, I don't want, no, I'm trying to avoid this problem. I'm trying to keep my people safe. I don't want to invite that to my house, which, again, you say this like you have any actual choice in the matter. If they come for, if they're going to come for the hotel, if they're going to come for the princess of hell, what the hell makes you think you're safe? You're, you're not safe whatsoever. You, you really need to realize that. But after her two minute countdown is over, she jumps down and starts kicking at her with these, she, she's coming down here and just kicking at her like she's Chun-Li, like goddamn. <laughs> Apparently the ballet slippers she's been wearing the whole time, I'm that also make the sound of knives, they're angelic steel. Which, damn, of, cor of course the weapons manufacturer always has something on her. In this case, literally on her. <laughs> But yeah, so, uh, Charlie, she's trying to go ahead and make her case out here, but Susan is being the worst heckler ever and not letting her get a single word in edgewise. And I feel like nobody can actually hear Charlie over her. Like, god dang. Have a dollar. Oh, hold on one sec. Let me just, uh, was, what the heck? <laughs> Weird. Yeah, my partner started working at, working at a Goodwill outlet. They find a lot of random stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, but back over here, uh, Carmilla, Carmilla points out the very obvious that obvious of how she knows that Vaggy is an angel. She has the X over her eye and, a, and an angelic spear, like all of us have pointed out. Out, but she also points out like angels, angels fight extremely recklessly, like they can't be hurt. Honestly, honestly, you know, thinking about it now, I feel like a lot of a lot of what hap a lot of what's up with them revolves around just like intimidation. Because, like she said, no shields, very little armor. They think they can't be harmed. They think they can't be harmed whatsoever. And while there's not exactly a lot of angelic steel in hell, anybody that has some definitely has an advantage. Especially considering if they are just leaving their spears around like this. Like seriously, seriously. Like, like, y'all never heard, y'all never heard about shooting arrows and then going retrieving your shit? Like, come on, bruh. But also, like, when you think about it, of course the weapons manufacturer has a good idea of how to fight an angel. This, like, that's her whole, her whole thing is making sure. We have the number between these two, where the main motivation she needs is to be able to f have something she's worth fighting for. Because, like, like, the two of them have in common, they're fighting for people that they love and care about. Loves and cares about Charlie. Again, actions speak louder than words. Why else would she be, be here willing to get her ass kicked, kicked over and over again just to figure that out? Again, like, looking over here for Charlie, as Rosie brings up, oh, your hell tell is about redemption, and she was trying to redeem herself. She believes in second chances, and it's like, why? Chances, but it's like, why not tell me? It was like, again, some things are just difficult to tell other people. When you're ready, when someone's ready to tell you, they will. Still, like, just because somebody's keeping a secret doesn't mean that it's, one, a bad thing, and two, that they don't love you or don't trust you. It's just difficult to talk about things sometimes. Like, 
Charlie, she's a motor mouth. She she can she can she's willing to tell everybody anything about herself, but at the same time, again, she's the most privileged person in hell. For the most part, she doesn't really have much to fear for her own safety in general. Well, she's the daughter of Lucifer. So then we get back over here and Charlie manages to rally all the troops together. We got all hands on deck. Literally, like, they weren't kidding when they said that these guys were all for a good musical number. <laughs> Seriously, so many people here are just blood-stained and holding ads and shit. And, like, I get I get Charlie wants it to tone down, but, like, yo, they're, they're just enthusiastic. They're here to help. They're here to help, all right? All right? Yes, they seem very murdery. They're cannibals, of course, but they're here to help. <sighs> And in the end, Charlie is really waiting. And in the end, Charlie, she's finally stepping into it. She's finally, finally here. And she's, like she said, I really hope that I'm ready for this. And then we come back over here to the hotel. Because, like, ain't <laughs> Vaggie shows up with her wings. Her wings. Jesus, that looks awesome. Um, Charlie, brought the, Charlie brought the army. Vaggie brought the weapons. Boom, we're good. And then we also get inside here. And we see that, we see that, but then we get it back up inside here, and we see that these guys are over here, they're boarding up and they're fortifying the place, because of course they weren't finna leave. We ain't finna, we ain't out of this bitch, nah, fuck that, fuck that. Like, this is our home, this is our family, we about to stand our ground and keep it safe. I love this, ooh. I'm very afraid of the next episode, but ooh. Ooh, going in with the high, going in with the high. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. All right, comment down below. Tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Oh man, this is gonna be. This next episode is gonna be something. It's gonna be something. All right, yeah. see ya.